Hey what's up guys it's Dewey here and welcome back to another howdy video. On this one I'm going to be showing you how to make the Dreadnought class warship raft on Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this then please do hit the subscribe button and it shows me that you guys appreciate what I'm doing and want more. So let's get straight to it. Here is the basic build of the raft. I'm not going to show you how to do this because most people know how to do this anyway. All you have to do is follow my layout, okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit right now. And there you can see how it's actually laid out. Okay, so let's start right off by putting down the sloped corners. Sloped walls, sorry. Like so. Maybe two there, two there. Just the uh, one there. One there. One there. Another one there. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Like that. Then we're going to want another one there. Like so. So you should have it basically looking like this by now. <coughs> Next you're going to want to quickly put two sloped ceilings like that. And a doorway in here with a lovely door like so. Yes. Do you understand? Yes? Good, 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 good. Next, we're going to put in some walls like that. And we're also going to want to put a wall in there. And then, we're going to put a door. We're not going to put, sorry, we're going to put a door frame in there. No doors, no doors at all. Put a wall there. And another door there. So these are going to be your barrel chambers where your weapons fire out of, as you can see on the lovely one over there. Next we're going to put some more walls here, like that. And then we're going to have the inner bit revealed like so. Put a sloped ramp, a sloped ceiling there. A wall there, wall there. Wall there. So this is what you should have at this stage of the tutorial. Okay, next you're going to want to put some more walls up like that. <coughs> then we're going to put this, the sloped wall there and add ramp like so. And then like that. Across like that. <clears throat> like that. So that's what you should have at this stage. Now we're going to have to do the same on this side. And like that. Don't worry about these gaps right now. Uh, I'll show you how to fix those in a bit. Uh, I'm going to have to get some more walls so bear with. Okay so now I've got the rest of my walls. We're going to want to put that like that. Completely forming the triangle now. And we're going to want to put that like that. Same on this side. Like that. And then all you have to do now is just go along with the sealants here. And fill in that bit like that. So that is the basic structure done. Uh, like I said, I'm now going to show you how to do these walls. Okay, so to do those walls, what you're just going to have to do is just quickly get rid of that, pop that in, and then replace your ramp. It's not a ramp, it's sloped metal ceiling. I do apologise. <coughs> like this. Right, so that is the basic structure of the boat. Now we're going to work on weapons placements. So I'm going to need to get myself my cannons and my auto turrets. Okay so now we're inside the boat and this is what it should look like at this stage. We have our two weapons ports here on either side and we have our central steering column and our exit door. So we're going to work on the placement of the first cannon. What you're going to want to do is just bring it in enough so it barely protrudes outside of the doorway. 
Keep it going. There you go. Like that. See? That is now going out the door. Yes, it doesn't look great on the inside, but it looks fantastic on the outside. Let's get our second cannon. <coughs> like this. See, that's now going out the same. Uh, you're going to want to put a box behind each of these, like here, for cannonballs. Uh, I don't have another one to do on this side, but you get the gist. Next, we're going to want to... Oh, no, let's not do that yet. We're going to want to place a smithy in here. Let's go. Like. So. So there's your smithy. Now, this build, this build what I've done here, is completely combat. Uh, there's not going to be loads of storage boxes, because it wasn't built as a raiding raft. Or as a transport raft. Uh, you, in this corner you can place a bed if you so wish. It is truly up to you. We're going to want to place a generator. Like so. Uh, and we're going to want to place two cables running there. And one out. Oh, uh, whatever that's called. Junction box thing. That, that will do me fine junction box. <coughs> Here we're going to want another auto turret placed right there. Obviously this one isn't going to be powered because I don't have any gasoline at this exact moment. There you go. Oh and uh, don't forget the omnidirectional light posts placed like so to give your boat a very menacing glare. Now you're going to want to place your two other auto turrets. Just one there and one there like that next to give it that truly stealthy look we're going to want to paint it because that looks really cool over there as you can see so let's paint it uh, you're going to want to activate all your regions just to be sure and let's go okay so as you can see that it's all painted black now uh, to give it the nice sort of stealth colour I should say. Stealth because most stealth ships are black. Uh, then we're going to just want to use our red dye and paint these lampposts. Okay, hang on. Need to go inside to paint those. There you go. Oh, don't forget your floors in here. I haven't done it but don't forget to paint your floors black. You know, so it matches. And then, so both your lights are now painted red, and they will light up like the ship over there once you put some gasoline in your generator. Now, it's completely optional if you want to put the sloped roofs as fins on the top of the boat. I kind of did it just to give it an aesthetically pleasing look, but that is 100% up to you guys. That is 100% up to you. But that is the end of the video. That is how you build the Dreadnought uh, warship. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And always let me know on any improvements that you yourself had done to one of my designs. Because I, I do love seeing them. And I do love hearing your guys' feedback on these videos. Thanks so much guys. Have a good day. <laughs>